Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Kildiken, and I'm in the process of upgrading my PC. This is a PC I bought back in uh, 2013. And so um, I'm obviously upgrading to a number of parts here today. Um, we have the ROG Strix X570E gaming motherboard. And then of course I'm upgrading to the Ryzen 7 3700 um, chip, as you guys can see there. So I do have a computer here that has space for a radiator, but the problem is I didn't want to get one of the dual fans or triple radiators. I wanted to keep it simple so I can mount it to the back of my PC. Um, I could use a triple radiator. I do have space and room for it, but I didn't want to do that uh, because I don't want to move any of the rest of my thermal take fans. So the best thing that I found on myself for the market was the 120, 20, uh, 120 millimeter uh, RGB sync by Thermaltake. Uh, this is a enclosed water loop uh, system made by Thermaltake and it's fully compatible with RGB with my ASUS motherboard. So just want to do a brief unboxing and I thought it'd be a good time to do it because, well, I mean, I have to install all these parts and um, I have to uh, go ahead and set it up anyway. So let's go ahead and open it up and uh, let me know what you guys think. So I brought this from Best Buy from, um, I think it was retailed at about $89, which is a really good price for an RGB all-in-one system. So let's take a look and see what we have. It's very rare to find 120, uh, 120 millimeter. Most of the other ones, I do have a Corsair here that I bought only because Best Buy was forever in delivering this due to the COVID situation. I had, it took about two weeks for me to get it. So... Um, I probably ended up just taking the other one back, but I really wanted to have this one and I would have been really upset if I couldn't have got this one because of all the features that it has. So uh, let's see, we got our installation module here, uh, our manual. It has all the module information as far as all the ring and stuff. And um, if you guys haven't watched my last video, I honestly, I don't, actually I haven't posted it yet, but it took me forever to install the fan on my processor because of how everything is set and coordinated. So um, yeah, it was definitely a huge battle. So let's see what we got in this one. And of course we have the fan here. That's actually really cool. I don't have to provide my own. So this looks like it's the fan here in the box. And then of course we have our radiator, our closed loop radiator. Let me move this back so you guys can see. Oh, there we go. So it looks like we have the radiator and we have pre-applied thermal paste. I'll probably add a little bit more. I have some of this here that I use. This is the Thermal Take uh, Thermal Grease. So this works pretty well. It keeps your PC really cool. It definitely makes a huge difference. So uh, this one looks like it's ready to go. So we have this with the radiator. It'll attach nicely here to the back of the PC. And let's see what else we have in the box. And then of course we do have the bracket for the all-in-one cooler. I believe this mounts, according to the instructions, it mounts to the front and to the back. And um, these are actually kind of hard to get because Fry's doesn't have it, Micro Center doesn't have it, uh, Best Buy's is the only one that I found that had this. So uh, you might be able to get this on Newegg or eBay. I haven't actually taken a look. And as you can see, it is Aurora Sync compatible, which is something my motherboard has. You also get the RGB Fusion. Uh, I believe uh, RGB Fusion, that's Gigabyte. Then you also have the MSI Mystic Light. So those are the all trademark names of each motherboard and the lights that they do provide. Um, I do have to take a look to see if this is a three pin or four pin connector um, because most of these, I know for the Aurora Sync, they do take a four pin RGB header. So hopefully it comes with that or maybe an adapter. If not, they're definitely a pain in the butt to find. And let's see here. I'll go ahead and pull this one out the box because it's uh, or pull it out the plastic because it is 
Ooh. Let's see here. I'll pull them all out. And this looks like it's all three pin stuff here. So uh, this is the controller. Got your mode, your color, and your speed there. And this is, this is probably an extension cable. And from the looks of it, this might be a four pin. Looks like it's a three pin adapter here. I'll have to see if this is fully compatible with the motherboard. So it can be a little tricky uh, mixing and matching some of this stuff. Radiator out. I'm not gonna pull this out because it has the thermal paste all over it and I don't want that to get on the table. But uh, let me go ahead and pull this off. I'm gonna see because there's, I have to get to the connection, but I'll leave the plastic on, on the metal plate. All right, and this looks like if this is the pin header for the fan or for the uh, pump. And there's another one here attached to the end. So I can get it. All right, and this one appears to be a three pin header. So uh, I really won't know exactly how this sets up or hooks up until I actually hook it up to my board. I mean, I do I know I have a, ma a manual to follow, but that I usually don't follow the manuals too much when integrated with another board, but uh, hopefully there's a four pin and three pin adapter because I do know that the motherboard I have is a four pin uh, LED system. Um, okay, yeah, installation is pretty easy, and I don't see anything here. Uh, let's see. Ah, here we go. All right, so Gigabyte uses a three pin, it has uh, voltage, ground, I forgot what the D stands for. Um, we also have the uh, E with his voltage. Let's see, I think this one's either a three pin or four pin, addressable header. Uh, Asus, uh, this one typically uses a four pin with, uh, obviously you have your control here on the far left, or actually on the right, and then you have your uh, voltage connectors here. So I do know this because I do have another series, uh, RLG Strix um, uh, motherboard, and so I did have to adjust that, but I will take a look at that when I fully get that hooked up into my system. Uh, I'll probably take a look at it. As you guys know, I have my motherboard here. When I get everything opened up, I'll let you guys know exactly how everything fits. So, I'm, again, I'm just opening up all the parts for my PC. Just thought I'd figure it, go ahead and do that. Just let you guys know what it looks like and um, how I set up and install everything uh, here on the channel. Um, let me see if I have anything here on the back. Okay, installation looks pretty easy. Um, one of the things that I like about this type of setup, um, I do have another thermal take. Um, it's actually fan, it's not water cooled. It was really tough to keep the bracket on there. In fact, it probably took me about a good two or three hours just doing that alone because it kept slipping and fl uh, sliding off. But one of the things I like about this bracket is you just stick it on top of the processor, you screw it in and then it has a back plate there on the back. So this looks really simple in, in order to it to mount. The other one I had, even though it was a $20 fan and it does a really good job uh, on my 9700 processor, it was quite difficult trying to keep it mounted on there. Um, but again, guys, just want to go ahead and open this up for you guys so you guys can take a look at it because I haven't seen a lot of reviews on it or open boxing, but um, I will keep you guys posted. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so I can let you know if I have any difficulties setting this up. Um, I do believe that this is pretty much straightforward. However, uh, some of these connections trying to get the RGB uh, may, may present a problem, but hopefully all the right adapters are, is, are given to me here in this box. Uh, again, this is Kill Dike. Catch you guys next time. And I hope you guys uh, consider subscribing to the channel and checking out the rest of the videos. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.
Make sure you guys tune in to the final reveal video because I will be putting all of these parts together in one comprehensive video, assembling my case with the motherboard and all the parts. So if I run into any difficulties and everything, even though this is just a one part video for the Thermaltake 120 millimeter water, water 3.0 RGB sink fan, obviously all these parts are gonna be integrated into the motherboard, the video card and everything else. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that video out when I finally get it uploaded. Thank you again.